There are many ways to strike a football and the smallest adjustment in your technique can make a huge difference in the flight of the ball. And today I'm going to teach you four ways to strike the ball. So when it comes to striking a ball, there's a few things that stay consistent no matter what technique you use. The first is your planting foot. You always want to plant your foot beside the ball, pointing in the direction you want the ball to go, and you want to have a slight bend in your knee. This is going to help you with your stability and your balance and give you a lot more control over the shot. The next thing we need to do is lock our ankle. So making sure our muscles in our ankle are flexed so it's really rigid. You wouldn't be able to pull your foot up if you've locked your ankle correctly. If we lock our ankle, we're more solid behind the ball. It's going to have a cleaner connection and give more power and accuracy to the strike. Now, there are three things we can play around with that determine the type of technique we want to strike the ball with. So the first thing is the area of the foot we strike with. That determines how the ball reacts off our foot. The next thing is the area on the football we hit. That determines the movement of the ball. And then we've got our follow through. A follow through can add spin, it can add extra power. That determines how much velocity and spin movement is on the ball. So the first technique we're gonna walk through is the power shot, also known as the driven shooting technique. And this is where the ball travels flat through the air with not much movement whatsoever. You can add a little bit of backspin to make it rise, but typically a driven shot is gonna be straight with no bend or knuckle. So for the driven shot, we want to plant our foot beside the ball, pointing directly at our target with that slight bend in the knee. And for this shooting technique, we're going to use our instep. So it's just to the side of the laces, the hardest bone in the foot. This is going to generate the most force. We're going to angle our foot out to the side so that we can expose that sweet spot. And then we want to be striking right through the middle of the the ball. By striking through the middle of the ball, that takes away any swerve. It's going to help the ball travel flat and you're going to achieve the most power with this shot. Then with your follow through, your foot moves towards the direction you want the ball to go. Then you hop off of your planting leg and land back on your kicking foot. This is going to help you strike the ball the most clean. The next shooting technique I'm going to talk you through is the curling shot. So this is adding spin to the ball to make it travel either right to left if you're right footed or left to right if you're left footed. So for this technique, your run up is going to be slightly more at an angle, more of a 45 degree angle. This is going to allow you to wrap around the ball. The area of the foot we're going to strike the ball with is a little bit more towards the toe. So the instep is here, it's a little bit more towards the inside. This is going to give you more contact on the ball to generate that spin. And you want to angle your foot upwards so that you can cut from the bottom of the ball to the top of the ball. That's going to add that spin and also a little up and down movement as well. So not only are you going to get that right to left movement, but a little bit of up and down. Then with your follow through, you want to wrap across the ball, curve your technique, and that's going to allow you to curve the ball. Next up is the Travella. This time we're using the outside of the foot to generate that curl. So it's almost mirrored to a curling technique. If you're a right-footed player, you're going to be hitting that lower right-hand side of the ball and cutting upwards. For a Travella, if you're using your right foot again, you're going to be hitting that lower left-hand side of the ball and trying to cut upwards. Instead of using right on the outside of the foot, we're going to be making contact a little bit more on top of the foot here. This is going to help you generate more power. And for the follow-through, instead of cutting across the ball, you almost want to point in the direction that you want the ball to go. So you strike across the ball and then your follow through should come out in front of you in the direction you want the ball to go. And the final technique is the knuckle ball. This is where you strike the ball trying to minimize any spin whatsoever so that the ball wobbles in the air and it's very difficult for the goalkeeper to read. For this type of shot, you can even put it right down the middle and it moves at the last second and goes past the goalkeeper. So a couple of things with the knuckleball. First is your run up. It wants to be a bit straighter because you're going to be really using the top of the foot here on the inside. It's a really hard bone in the foot and you want to be striking right through the middle of the ball. So you want more of a straight run up. When you strike the ball, you want to be hitting just underneath the center. 
and you want to be angling your foot upwards and then punching the ball off of your foot. The reason we're hitting it on this really hard bone is because it allows you to jab the ball and minimizes that contact so it generates no spin whatsoever and flies through the air and wobbles at the very last second. So you want to hit just underneath the center of the ball on that hard bone and as you make contact you want to lift your foot and minimize your follow through. So you really want to flex your leg Tense those muscles so that you don't follow through and then step across your body. If you minimize the follow through, that's gonna take away any spin on the ball. So there's four shooting techniques you can practice to help you score more goals in a match. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the Unisport channel by clicking the bubble up here. And also, if you want more tips and tutorials from us, you can check out the playlist down here. And for the latest and greatest football gear, make sure you check out unisportstore.com over here. But I'm 7MLC, until next time, I'm out.